Hello, this is Rakesh Rao from Design Sense Software, the Brixis India distributor. In this third video of the Bill of Materials and Quantities series of CAD Power, I am going to show you how you can count attribute values in a drawing and create a Bill of Materials out of it. In this drawing, you can see that there is a block called Win Size Mat which has attributes Win Size and Material. So the attribute tag WIN stores the window type which can either be w1 w2 w3 and so on and so forth so let us run this command and see how we can create a bill of materials so go to cat power go to bom boq tools bom generator the first thing i will do is set my workflow so i'm going to set it as count attribute values because that is what i want to do i'll choose the block that i want to count which is win size mat and I will choose the index attribute which is win. What this means is that the window type is going to be stored in the attribute called win. Once this is done I need to create a parameter file to save the attribute values so I'm going to say save and save this parameter file which has the same name as the drawing name so it's called floor plans brickscat for bom.ini and once it is saved you can go to edit because now I'm going to edit and add the attribute values so I choose this option here which is attribute values and cost and go to edit right now it's empty nothing has been set so you can use this as a template to understand how to set the values so first the value w1 description I'm going to write it as window type 1 comma cost so the cost I'm going to put it as 100 and say update so you can see that the first entry has come so in a similar manner I can make the other entries so to make it easier I'm going to just delete this and I'm going to duplicate the first one so update it as W2 window type 2 cost is 50 update duplicate again make it as W3 window type 3 cost is 150 update duplicate again W4 which is window type 4 and the cost is 200 and update so you can see that I have four window types W1, W2, W3 and W4 and I'm going to say OK save this file and I'm going to run BOM so select entities so it's asking you to select blocks which are named as win size mat so I'm going to select all of them do you want to scale the table uh, this is okay for me so I'm going to say okay so you can see that I've got a table which is attribute value description quantity unit cost and total cost so if you noticed I have entered the values for W1, W2, W3 and W4 but there are blocks with additional attributes like V1, ventilator and FW which we didn't enter the cost and description so it comes as blank so if you want to complete it you can do that very quickly and update the BOM so we go back to the BOM tools so already it is set in memory so all you need to do is go to edit go to attribute values v4 duplicate so this will be v1 this will be ventilator type 1 and cost is 35 update and duplicate again 
and the last one was FW1 cost is 350 update ok save cancel you can see that you can set the title text height the data text height the column spacing and all those things so just ok ok so now my table is complete with all the attribute values the description the quantity the unit cost and the total cost and you can see that it has been exported to the CSV file as well so you can open that here in Excel so all those values are now here now if you remember in the first and second videos of bill of materials we saw that the exported CSV file can be re-imported back into AutoCAD or BricsCAD using CAD power so you can do that for example I add comments and I'm going to add comments as window 3 window I put whatever I want as comments save this file and then come back here to my BOM BOM generator and I'm going to say import I select that same file for import which is this one so let me keep the existing table and bring in so you can see that the CSV file has been now imported along with the comments column as well so the basic principle of the BOM BOQ tools are similar except that the different workflows offer you different ways how you can co compute and count your drawing elements thank you for watching this video and do let me know if you have any questions